Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, I've been pretty stagnant on YouTube lately. I've had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life and really haven't been able to get out much to fish or make any videos or anything like that. And uh, hopefully some of this stuff is going to be slowing down and I can get back to uh, some of the YouTube stuff and uh, putting out some more some more videos for you guys to watch and uh, doing some more reviews and stuff. So um, I've had this box for a couple weeks. I, I got it at the end of... Uh, uh, July and it's just another tackle warehouse box for the uh, um, I, I got some top water stuff uh, the last tackle warehouse order that I did was uh, was a bunch of poppers and so this is a bunch of walkers and stuff kind of going in that that same theme of top water stuff I still haven't finished my frogs and I'm getting ready to jump into some of the poppers now um, so I, I also wanted to get a couple of um, walkers as well so go ahead and show you guys what I got here um, Got our Tackle Warehouse t-shirt there. Um, let's see. First thing we got were some uh, Rapala Topwater Skitter Walks. I'll go ahead and open them. I don't have that many um, lures here. And you guys mentioned to me that you like when I open up these boxes for you. So I'll go ahead and open them up and show them to you guys. Uh, got a couple of the Skitter Walks here. I got a rattle in there. Um, I've tried these out a couple of times before. Um, they were okay. I, I, I liked them decently enough. Uh, the reason why I got them for you guys was just to uh, mainly just put, put a review out for you guys so you can see uh, what I had to say about them and, and uh, kind of keep along with some consistency across the board with uh, just so people can understand uh, the type of lures that are out there on the market today. So. Uh, the next one we have here, by the way, that skitter walk is about three and an eighth inches, so it's the SW8 size, so it's 80 millimeters, I guess. Um, let's take all these out in pairs. Um, the next one we got are the Damiki. Ramblers. See the back sides of these. Rambler 120 in uh, bluegill and bone. Go ahead and take them out of the package for you guys so you can see what they look like. obviously takes more time to have to take these out of the package for you guys but like I said I don't have a ton in this box um, I got a couple of lures in here that were a little expensive um, so I didn't get as many these are actually pretty nice these have like a dual rattle as well they got the the beads in the head and then the then the the big bearing towards the back so these are these are actually pretty nice. I'm pretty impressed. They they uh, remind me of that. Uh, um, what is that? The Reaction Innovations Vixen or the Paycheck Bakes Paycheck Bates uh, Repo Man. Let's see the next one we got was the. This is a newer to market style one. This is a the Yozuri 3DB 3D Prism Wave Motion. This is the pencil. So we've got two different colors here. You can check out the back there. You guys can pause the video if you guys want to read something that it says on the back. I'll go ahead and open them up. I should probably be a little bit more careful about how I open up my lures because obviously I'm tearing feathers off the trailer hooks there. Let's see. Get this thing open. get this thing out without hurting myself. There's that frog color. It's pretty nice. And then this next one here. I don't know what colors these are in, but this is just like a shad pattern. 
So it's another nice one. It's a Yozuri 3DB F on the black on the back of it. So another nice one. Same thing, same kind of uh, bearing on the back there. Um, this one was a little expensive, but I really wanted to try it out. This is the Lobina Rico Suave. <clears throat> excuse me, Rico Suave. So, uh, as you would expect, fairly expensive, like the original Lobina Rico. This one's in holographic shad, and this other one is in risque. So we got holographic shad and risque. So the risque one is like the sexy shad one and then this one's the holographic shad so light rattles in them kind of just like a another pencil bait so again i mean these are all walking style baits here so uh what else this is pretty new to the market as well <clears throat> this is the uh the yellow magic havana uh, you guys can remember I did the Yellow Magic Popper. Well, this is their uh, fairly new, at least fairly new to Tackle Warehouse and fairly new to me, their Havana uh, walking bait. You can see it says this one's in smelt color. Uh, three quarter ounce bait, as it says on the, on the front there. Really nice looking lure here, you guys. These are both uh, foil patterns. This one's more of a trout and this one's more of like a like a shad, like a thread fin shad or something. Um, this one on the bottom has that same rough glitter uh, effect that they put on the bottom of their poppers as well. So and got that same style of rattle that you're seeing in some of these other ones. Uh, really pumped to get this one. I've been wanting to get this one for a long time. This is the Jackal Bonnie 128. Uh, if you go to Tack Warehouse, uh, you can see I got one in HL Sunfish and one in HL Aurora Black. If you go to Tackle Warehouse and you go to their hard bait section, and then you uh, and then you go to the top water under the hard bait section, you scroll down towards the bottom, you'll find all the pencil or the walking baits that they have to offer. And for whatever reason, Tackle Warehouse uh, doesn't have this bait listed in their um, in their walking baits, you actually have to search it out. So if you go, if you go search by name for Jackall, or if you go search uh, just in the top left-hand side under the search bar, you just search for Bonnie inside the Tackle Warehouse search bar, you'll find this bait. This is the Bonnie 128, and they have it in like a 95 size, I think, as well. So, so they have the smaller size and then the bigger size. So, really excited to try this thing out. They also have the Jackall Bow Stick, which is a 130 size, so it's slightly bigger than this one, a little bit more fatter and more cigar style shape, but the same kind of quality that you would expect from a, from a Jack All product. Very excited to use that one. Uh, it's been out for a long time and I, I should have had that bait years ago, really. Um, then I also got the Head and Chug and Spook. And I actually, I don't normally do this, but uh, for this occasion I did, I got two different sizes. I got the big one that they, that they came out uh, with originally and then uh, last year they came out with a small size and um, I got the small size too so I got this big one here that's in this uh, I think it's like a oaky shad so and then we got this other one in this uh, baby bass color so kind of give you guys a size comparison there between these two We've got that cup mouth on there. Very nice baits here. Uh, I've always been pleased with the spooks, and uh, I can imagine that this one will, will be very, very nice to have in the arsenal as well. So those are all of the walking style baits that I got for this order. Um, I think there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven different kinds there. Probably only take me just a couple weeks to get it, to get through. Um, and then I also got something for myself here. I wanted to try out some new, uh, some new uh, craw baits for myself this year. I'm going to be moving to a different craw bait, and so I wanted to try out these uh, these Rage Tails by Strike King. Um, 
A lot of people uh, have good things to say about these. I have all three sizes here. And in fact, I will take all three sizes out for you guys. Uh, so you guys can see what it's all about. So give me a moment. And we'll take out all three. So there's one. Just kind of open them up like that. Pretty fancy packaging for a soft plastic bait. It's probably very, um, uh, a little bit of overkill in my opinion. I mean, there's a lot of waste product there, but uh, I suppose that they're trying to keep the shape, which I can respect that, but uh, ultimately they're gonna get all jacked up anyway, so uh, it doesn't really matter to me what kind of a package they come in. So uh, that's that big, lobster size right there and then we have in these just reek of coffee scent which uh you know i, I use the word reek lovingly because uh it, it actually smells pretty good in my opinion uh and then you have the original rage tail craw there uh the rage craw i guess and then this is the the baby rage craw or the rage baby craw i guess so to kind of give you guys an idea of the three different sizes and i'm going to try them all out I'm going to see what I like. Uh, this isn't, um, uh, this is fairly close to the same size of the, of the normal bigger craws that I, that I like using this uh, lobster one, but it's still not quite as big. Um, and then this is probably slightly smaller than what I'm used to putting on the back of a jig trailer. And this would kind of be, uh, just slightly bigger. So I'm, I'm just trying them all out just to kind of see what I use. Got some just assorted colors. Uh, and if I like them, I, I might just get a whole 3,700 size full of these things here in the next couple weeks. So we'll see what happens. So there they are. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, again, I, I really apologize for being so stagnant on YouTube lately. It's just it's it's been really really busy uh, in my life, and uh, uh, you know the, the YouTube thing takes out a, a, a lot of uh, a lot of effort and a lot of time, and I really enjoy doing it because it's. It's actually my hobby, and unfortunately, I've had to neglect my hobby the last couple weeks because just uh, just a lot of personal stuff going on, and uh, and hopefully that'll start slowing down, and we'll be able to move forward with some of this other cool stuff that I have in mind, and getting out some of those videos that I was telling you about that I wanted to get out for the um, my top five lures in each category of all the lures that I own. I know you guys have been wanting to see that for a while and I'm gonna be getting that out here pretty soon. So uh, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button down there in the lower left corner. I really appreciate that. And uh, stay tuned for some reviews on these. I'm gonna get through with my last uh, couple of frog reviews that I gotta do and then I'm gonna do the poppers and these walking baits kind of just mixed into each other. And it should probably only take me about a month or two to get through with those. So uh, hopefully if, if nothing else comes up. So, so uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.